Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here and today I want to help you travel smarter by showing you a great variety of different Guatemalan traditional dishes at Los Urquizu, which is one of my favorite places in Antigua to eat. Guatemalan food looks almost as good as it tastes. The large variety of colors reflects the combination of ingredients at play here, flavors infused from the Maya and Spain over centuries. You will find tastes here that you have never experienced before, over and over. And if there's one place in Antigua that reflects the Guatemalan collective kitchen, it's the family-owned restaurant La Cuevita de los Urquizu. Like many of the best places to eat in this town, it has a rather ordinary place on a quiet street without a flashy exterior, at least that is, until you get a closer look. Frijoles colorados con chicharrón, cordero, hilachas de res, subanic, el subanic es pollo, res y cerdo, es un poco picante, y pepián de pollo. This plate is a mix of subanic, a traditional Mayan stew of chilies and meats, typically with chicken, beef, and pork, although it can be served without meat if requested, all cooked in a nest of mashan leaves, an indigenous plant to this region. The flavor that results could be described as a slightly spicy pumpkin that's been infused with tomato. Next to it is mashed and cooked black beans, pickled beets, and white tamale. So the way this works is right outside when you show up there are 8 or 10 large bowls with boiling stews that have all kinds of different meats in them. Chicken, beef, lamb, tripe, pork or some mix of all of those combinations. They explain what's in each one and then you just kind of point and choose. And there's a large variety of salad variations also. What I went with today, this tomato based spicy sauce with some black beans here, mashed black beans. and beets on the side, so a beet salad on the side, and all of these come with tamales, so all your meals will come with tamales, also with a couple of pickles, pickled onions, as well as some fresh tortillas. So first I want to try a little bit of this sauce, almost tastes like tomato sauce without the sweetness, so it almost tastes like a, like a pasta sauce without the sweetness. You can get these with all kinds of different meats inside which add to the flavor, so you can get chicken, you can get pork or lamb or whatever and that's also going to add to the flavors of the sauce. You can see that mashed black beans which have been burned on purpose on the bottom so you get this crispiness. I don't know if you can see that there. It almost gives it a slight barbecue taste and I want to try some of this beet salad grown locally. So you have beets cilantro, bits of green bean in there as well. There's so many things that can be grown here and they're combined in really unique ways that I haven't had before. And even a simple thing like beets changes because of not only the spices but the combination of the cilantro, the black pepper, a slight bit of onion juice and lemon that's in here as well. It all kind of changes the flavor. And of course the beets for example themselves are grown locally. So each of these pots are basically like one big crock pot where you have all of your ingredients, meats, stews all cooking at the same time for many many hours. Let's dig into now this mini tamale. Tamales are soaked cold corn that's been cooked in a banana leaf. Soft still has some moisture on the outside and dry in the middle. It almost tastes like, imagine a banana that's a little bit firmer and that doesn't have the sweetness. Kind of like that. It's a nice palate cleanser, which with so many different flavors on the plate, is kind of nice. It kind of resets you because we're getting close to dessert and this place has one of the best desserts I have ever, ever had. At Urquizu, no matter how much or how little you've eaten, dessert is on the menu. In this case, quite possibly one of the best things I have ever eaten, chocolate mole, a semi-sweet brown sauce of chilies, peppers, and cinnamon infused with some of the deepest, darkest chocolate you'll find on the planet in a region where it's been cultivated for over 3,000 years. This is a chocolate mole, which is a type of sauce. Well, it's a huge variety of sauces made with nuts and spices. This one is chocolate with plantains and sesame seeds. First thing is the smell that hits you and it it is like a deep rich chocolate smell with yeah with almost from the plantains almost like that banana smell but there's this strong chocolate so this is a hot dish 
when the steam coming up from it just smells like the best chocolate you've ever smelled. Right, first I'm gonna grab a little bit of the, the mole sauce there. I don't know how to describe how amazing that is. There is this very, very sweet flavor from the plantains and somehow the flavors are very separate. So the chocolate doesn't taste like milk chocolate. It's like a deep chocolate flavor. Like I said, like a dark chocolate brownie, almost that rich. But then the plantains give it kind of sweetness on top of it. The mole itself is not very thick. It's got the consistency of like a half melted ice cream. And it has almost like a hint of hazelnut or almond, just a touch. Here they do have a bunch of different varieties of moles for sweets. They have them with coffee, they have them with chocolate, all kinds of different flavors, but this is one I go for every time. So when it comes to Guatemalan traditional cuisine in Antigua and from this part of Guatemala, Urquiznu is definitely a place that you want to visit. So many different flavors, so many different options. You've got meats, you've got salads, you've got vegetarian options, you've got all kinds of foods and just a really amazing dessert and not very expensive at all. So this entire meal cost 120 quetzales which is about $15 plus I added a little bit of a tip which you want to do. Typically you want to tip around 10% when you're in Guatemala course if you have my tip fox app which I'll link to below then you'll know how much to tip everywhere around the world so thank you very much for joining me on this meal today in Antigua Guatemala if you have any questions feel free to let me know down in the comments below and while you're down there hit the like and subscribe buttons I'll have new videos for you every week from around the world and I'll see you in the next video hi everybody fox nomad 